Here I have Samsung Galaxy J5 2017 and let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification on the following device. So basically let me show you how to remove the factory reset protection on the following device. As you can see at some point of initializing setup process you have to input your email and password to your Google account. Let me show you how to skip this point. So at the very beginning I recommend you to use the following link and tutorial from hardreset.info. Here you need to download and install necessary tools, drivers and firmwares. So let's download and install USB drivers for Samsung. Let's install and unpack Samsung Odin software. Let's also download and install mini ADB and fastboot. And you can also download the FRP unlocker, it might be useful in that operation. What's more, you need to also use the Samsung firmware with ADB communication. You can use of course some firmware to download the firmware for your device or you can use our upload. So here on our upload, you may find your device, so in my case is J530F. And as you can see here we've got two firmwares, so in order to make sure which firmwares you have to choose, let's go to recovery mode, press power key on your device, tap power off and power off again, wait until your device will be completely switched off and use the combination of keys, power key, home button and volume up. Let's hold down together these three keys for a couple of seconds. Release all keys as Samsung Galaxy J5 logo pops up on the screen, wait for the recovery mode. And as soon as no command pops up, let's press power key and by holding power key, press volume up once. And as you can see, this is the Android recovery. Here you can find the uh, your Android version. In my case, is FXSU. One. So FXSU1, this is U2, so I have to use U1, let's choose download, standard download. So you also need to download the combination firmware, so let's also use our Omega Upload. Here you've, we've got prepared for you the, uh, the folders with the firmware, so let's find the J50. T30F and you have two version dual or normal. Let's just dual. Let's just make sure that you've got this version of the firmware FXSU1. So this is my firmware. So that's it. I can choose reboot system now in order to quit the Android recovery mode. And now let me go to the place when I have all the firmwares on my device and all the drivers. So I download everything right here into the download folder. And here you need to unpack a couple of things, the Odin, the USB drivers, uh, and also the firmware for your device with ADB communication. You have to install the Android Fastboot and the USB drivers. And also you need to unpack the combination firmware, this is my combination firmware. So let's assume that you have everything installed and everything unpacked. And now you can proceed next. So let's open the Odin. This is the Odin application. Now you may use the Odin. So all you have to do right now is put your device into a download mode. Let's press power key for a couple of seconds. Choose power off and tap power off again. Wait until your device will be completely switched off and use the following combination of keys. Power key, volume down and home button. So let's hold down together these three keys. Power key, home button and volume down. Keep holding three keys. Release them as soon as warning pops up. Let's press volume up to continue. And this is the download mode of your device. So here you need to connect your phone by using the micro USB cable to your PC. Let me do it. Here I have such a cable, let me connect my device. As you can see on your Odin, here we've got the information that the device is added. So you need to now flash your device into the 
combination firmware so let's choose the AP and here in my case let me select the downloads combination firmware let's choose this file with the MD5 type let's tap open the audio is loading this file Excellent, you need to also choose options and here let's make sure that you have selected the auto reboot and factory reset time. So if you are sure that everything is selected correctly, you can choose start, let me do it. The device is flashing with the combination firmware, let's wait a couple of seconds. That's it, the flashing is done, now your device is restarting, so you can simply disconnect your device from your PC, let's just use this, this USB cable, your device is also performing the hard reset operation, let's just wait a couple of seconds until your device will be ready to use with the combination firmware. As you can see the factory binary is loading. So now this is the developer mode that you can use if you load your combination firmware here you can choose the apps icon in that corner from the following menu let's choose settings let's scroll down to the bottom of the list choose developer options and here you need to make sure that you have usb debugging switched on so as you can see my usb debugging is activated so now that that's it now all you have to do is simply Turn off your device, let me do it by pressing the power key. Wait until your device will be ready to use. Now let's enter the download mode, let's press power key, home button and volume down. Keep holding those three keys. Release them as soon as warning pops up. Here let's press volume up to continue, this is the download mode. Let's connect my device one more time to my PC. Here I have such a cable. Let me connect my phone. Excellent. As you can see on your Odin software, the device is added. Now let me choose reset right here to reset all the settings. And now let's start inputting the appropriate files. So let's start with BL. I have to choose your firmware, the normal firmware with ADB communication. You can download this firmware in another way, for example, by using the SAM firmware. You can also watch this the, the, the alternative method on our, on our other videos. So let me choose my firmware. This is the BL file. Now let's choose AP. This is the AP file, the first one. Let's wait until the Odin loads this file.
Excellent, now let's use the cp file. Let's tap cp. Now csc. So here you don't have to choose home csc. Excellent, let's choose options. Let's also click on auto reboot and factory reset time. And now you can just start. So let me do it. The device is flashing with the Odin software. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Or maybe even more. Let's just wait until the whole flashing will be completed. Do not interrupt while the process is running. Excellent, as you can see the flash is done, you can also see it on our log information So everything is completed. You can disconnect your device from your PC The Samsung is restarting and also performing the hard reset operation. So let's wait a few seconds. Excellent, so now let's unlock the screen and as you can see now you have access to your device settings and your device home screen. Let me just go through this menu, let me skip these files, let's just tap finish. As you can see the language switch in my case into the Polish one, but you can simply change the language right here. So let's just wait for the home screen. So let's find and select the settings icon. Let's choose the general management icon. Choose languages here. Let's choose language at the top of the screen. Let's choose other language. Let me choose my language right here. Let me set up as default the English one. So now you can use your device, but to make sure that you fully erase the factory reset protection, let's go to developer settings. So in order to activate developer settings, you need to choose about phone. Let's scroll down, choose here the software information. Let me tap a couple of times on build number. As you can see, you are now a developer. You can go back. And right here, let's tap developer options, let's enable OEM unlocking, tap turn on. And now you can perform the hard reset operation. So let's choose general management, tap reset, select the factory data reset, read the information, tap reset again, tap delete all. And now the device is performing the hard reset operation to fully erase the factory reset protection. So let's just wait until the whole operation will be completed. Afterwards, the welcome panel should pop up on the screen. Android is turning on, let's wait a few seconds. So let me just change language into the English one right here. Let's tap OK. 
Excellent. Now let's quickly go through the welcome panel just to activate the device and to make sure that I don't have the the factory reset protection turned on. Let's tap next. Let's, let's leave everything as it was in the default one. Let me don't change anything. Tap next. Let me don't protect my device with the screen lock right now. Tap skip anyway. Let me skip the Samsung account. Tap skip. Tap finish. Later. And that's it. As you can see, you just activate your device without a Google account. So it means that everything went well. You just fully erased the factory reset protection. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.